taking you with a time machine. So get such ready to go and travel with me to a time machine. I'll be taking you back to 428 years old in a pool. Where we'll be going back to that history and visualize the whole history of Mombasa. Let's get to the start. the only international seaport and biggest port of East Africa located in the city. Very interesting fact. In the year 1497, the Portuguese nobleman Vasco da Gama sailed from Lisbon on a mission to discover the world. His expedition made numerous stops in Africa before reaching the trading post. He was the first Portuguese landed in the city and discovered that this route in Indian Ocean would be very prosperous for trading. This is the city known as Rich Trading Town for gold, spices, ivory, iron and many other items in collaboration with other kingdoms. As the Mombasa is trading friendly, this city has been ruled by the Portuguese, Romanian and then Portuguese and again British has ruled the city in several years. The place I'm standing right now is 428 years old Four Jesus, necessitated by the Turkish, designed by an Italian, run by the Portuguese, conquered by Arabs, and used to protect the trade routes from the Middle East and India. The fort was built in between 1593 and 1596 by the order of King Philip I of Portugal. The intention was to roll this port to guard the old port as well as the Portuguese military was residing at the old town. Africa was very popular for slavery. 
which time passes it was banned or illegal but this passage is were using to take the slate towards to the shape for bangla in 2011 four jesus was declared unesco world heritage site and highlighted for its most outstanding and well preserved of 16th century of portuguese military fortifications portuguese is an example of renaissance architecture implemented for the first time outside of europe the fort is built on coral if you look around you can see the fort is established on a coral and is located next to the indian ocean if you view from the top the fort looks like a mansion the front is paved and the behind is tulip I'm heading to the watchtower. From here, the captains used to watch over the Indian Ocean to check out the port. Next to the watchtower there is the place that used to be captain houses Initially when Portuguese made this fort the fort height was 15 meter later on Omani increased the size up to 18 meter Portuguese also used as prison jail sohili state house in different time set by the different ruler Portuguese was declared a national park in 1958 carbon black and red oxide on the plaster of the wall of fort by portuguese sailor or soldiers in 17th century later on it has been removed and restored here It's a place called Barsa, where ruler or Omani wali used conducted many official traditional meetings, and this photo is an evidence of that. It's a place where we have well preserved the. National uh, journals, 
than the brands of agreement and the certificates of the ruler. This is how it looks like the beaver. Kanjur, it's called Kanjur. Omani Kanjur. Omani Panga.
It's the letter from our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam written to the kings of Oman and asking them to embrace Islam in that region 629 AD. the Mombasa history with me Mr. Jamil is here who is going to clear, talk about with us why you need to see this show. Let's over to you Jamal. Thank you, thank you Julia. Um, the Fort Jesus Sound and Light Show brings the history, the 400 year history of Fort Jesus and of Mombasa to life using 3D technology, lasers, special effects and fireworks. One of the reasons to bring this show to life was we saw this fort and we said, how can we enhance it? And how can we bring the history in such a way that everybody enjoys coming to the fort? And in the process also build the communities around uh, the old town Mombasa. So this show is organized by the Hollywood movie maker. I would like to know more about it from him. Sure, we are called Jay's Pyrotechnics. If you see uh, many Hollywood productions such as Avengers, Matrix, um, uh, Sense8, right? we have taken, we, we have solely, as Jay's Pyrotechnics, uh, uh, undertaken the special and visual effects in those movies. All right? Also, the Disney Cinderella show at Disney World, that's uh, uh, my partner, Jay. Uh, she's the one who, who, who is part of the design team of that as well. And uh, yeah, so we are Jay's Pyrotechnics based in Kenya and making Kenya proud. So guys, you can come here Thursday, Saturday, Friday and Sunday from 7 to 8 p.m. Yes. So don't miss it. Just give him a call in 072 653 2299. Yes. So don't miss it. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats as the enchanting show is about to begin.